Omi and a Hellcat became one of the fastest growing YouTube channels of 2019 after posting various high quality vlogs showcasing his lavish multi million dollar lifestyle. In just about every vlog, Omi and a Hellcat would splurge on exotic cars, beautiful real estate, and expensive jewelry. This type of content had almost everyone who stumbled across Omi's channel entertained for hours on end and anxiously awaiting for the next Omi and a Hellcat vlog to be released. But something almost every viewer wondered was, how did Omi make all this money? After receiving many questions about how he obtained his fortune, Omi responded by saying he earned it through developing apps, real estate, and his construction company. While this is believable, many viewers speculated that there's definitely more to the story behind Omi and a Hellcat's fortune, and they were absolutely right. Because on November 20th, 2019, everything came crumbling down after 30 federal agents came knocking at his door. Curious as to why the FBI came for Omi and his estimated $50 million fortune? Well, then we've got you covered. Here is an exclusive inside look at the criminal history of Omi and a Hellcat. Okay, I'm reloaded. Omi and a Hellcat, born Bill Omar Carrasquillo, grew up in a somewhat troubled household. His father was a well-known drug dealer in Philadelphia and even served time in federal prison when Omi was only five years old. By the age of nine, Omi's father taught him how to sell drugs and eventually taught him how to cook crack by the age of 13. This lifestyle eventually led to Omi's first arrest when he was just 16 years old after his father's house got raided by authorities. Omi was allegedly sentenced to two years in a juvenile detention center, but since he was a minor, the judge put him in a program where he served most of his time at an all-boys school instead of a detention center. Once his sentence was completed, Omi was on the straight and narrow for quite some time. But with no high school diploma and little to no work experience, it was hard for him to make a significant income to support himself. After a few months of struggling, Omi went back to the family business of drug dealing, which eventually got him into even more trouble down the road. On a recent interview with Say Cheese TV, Omi stated he was arrested two other times for drug-related activities. I tried to find the details of these arrests, but unfortunately I didn't really have any luck. But Omi has been pretty honest about his past life, so I don't think he would lie about this, but I don't know, you be the judge. Omi's criminal activities continued until his son Omar was born. Omar was diagnosed with autism, a disorder with a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech, and nonverbal communication. This life-changing event caused Omi and a Hellcat to rethink selling drugs to provide a better and more positive lifestyle for his son. While slowly exiting the dope game, Omi was robbed on July 4th, 2014 and never sold drugs again. Now, with his only source of income gone, Omi fell into a deep depression and thought he was a failure to not only himself, but to his son as well. Then, one morning, Omi had an idea to sell Fire Sticks to people online. Fire Sticks are a streaming device made by Amazon that allows you to watch all your favorite streaming apps such as Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, etc. on your TV. But the Fire Sticks Omi planned on selling were not your average Fire Sticks. They were fully loaded or jailbroken Fire Sticks. You see, these fire sticks were preloaded with various different apps that would allow you to stream and watch any movie or TV show you want by scraping the web for pirated links to the movie or TV show of your choice. Omi began to buy these jailbroken fire sticks online for $50 a piece and resold them for $125 to $150 a pop. Omi claimed to be making several thousand dollars a week by selling these online. But a couple of grand a week wasn't enough for Omi, so he began to seek other ways to make even more money. While thinking of other ways to increase his income, Omi became interested in IPTV, a service that all of his jailbroken fire sticks provided. IPTV stands for Internet Protocol Television, which is the delivery of television content through the internet. There are several types of IPTV apps, but the one talked about in Omi's situation is the one that allows users to pay a monthly subscription fee to access every single cable TV channel. The subscription fee to these types of apps are significantly less than what a cable company would charge, making it extremely appealing to those that are tired of overpaying for their cable. Omi saw potential in IPTV and knew that if he was able to have his own service, that he could run it better than his competitors and even offer it at a better price. This was it. This was Omi's ticket to millions. Omi then developed his new alias, Target in 1080p, and became very active in the Kodi community. Kodi is a platform that allows IPTV apps to be accessed on streaming devices such as the Amazon Fire Stick. 
After becoming somewhat well known in the Kodi community, Omi got connected with a few IPTV developers and started his first ever IPTV app called Gears TV, which was named after his favorite video game, Gears of War. Gears TV had a pretty successful start. So successful, the Gears TV competitors allegedly hacked into the back end of Omi's app and booted it offline and even doxed Omi in the process. But Omi was back up and running shortly after. Gears TV continued to grow and grow to a point where Omi and a Hellcat was rumored to have over 100,000 subscribers to his service. At $15 a month per subscription, that would mean Omi was making around $1.5 million a month, which comes out to around $18 million a year. That is $3 million more than Super Bowl winning quarterback Tom Brady makes in a year at the NFL. And like I said before, that 100,000 is just a rumored number that was thrown around on some IPTV forums. It could very well be over that. In early 2018, Omi announced that he sold Gears TV to an anonymous group of guys that were looking to get into the IPTV space. It's unknown how much Gears TV sold for, but in one of Omi's songs, he brags about being up $40 million. So we can assume it was for <laughs> a lot of money. You would think that Omi and a Hellcat would sit back and enjoy his new lifetime supply of cash, but that wasn't the case. Because shortly after selling Gears TV, Omi teamed up with his old friend Dexter, who can be seen in Omi's first few vlogs a few months back, and tried to start up a new IPTV app called Reboot. Reboot didn't go as planned, and Omi eventually scrapped it to start another IPTV app called Gears TV Reloaded. Since Omi was now extremely knowledgeable in operating an IPTV service, he knew exactly what to do to make Reloaded just as big, if not bigger, than the original Gears TV, and he did just that. Reloaded became one of the most popular IPTV apps in the space due to its wide variety of channels and reliability. One user even described why he preferred Reloaded over other IPT services by saying, it just works. After easily taking over the IPTV space once again, Omi hired several employees to run Reloaded for him and he moved into his new business venture, YouTube. He then changed his name from Target in 1080p to Omi and a Hellcat, named after his favorite car, and began posting high quality vlogs in 4K quality that showcased his massive car collection and other luxurious purchases he made throughout the day. It immediately took off. Every single one of his videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views and each video was better than the next. One video he's trading his Rolls Royce for Lamborghini and the next video he's buying a mansion, then he's buying multiple tour buses. Omi and a Hellcat seemed unstoppable. Then his life got flipped upside down. On November 20th, 2019, Omi and a Hellcat woke up to multiple loud knocks on his mansion doors. When Omi got up to check everything out, he saw over 30 FBI agents surrounding his home. Omi then opened the door as multiple federal agents stormed in shouting, Gears TV! The FBI began to ransack his home, taking all of Omi's possessions, including cash, cars, electronics, and jewelry. During this process, Omi was told that all of his other houses got raided as well, including his house in New Jersey, where it was rumored that 60 federal agents surrounded the house and seized his entire collection of exotic cars. In addition to all of Omi's possessions being seized, the FBI also froze all of his bank accounts. A man with a fortune valued around $50 million was now left with only $12 in his pocket. After everything settled down, Omi and a Hellcat went live later that night to his YouTube channel to update his fans about what went down. In the live stream, he said that the charges against him were tax evasion, money laundering, and copyright infringement. The charges against him are all still pending, but Omi stated in the live stream that once charges are officially pressed, that he will most likely do some time in prison. He also claimed that he did nothing wrong, and that IPTV is a gray area and not necessarily illegal. And while that may be true, I find it highly unlikely that he won't face any repercussions, because at the end of the day, he repurposed copyrighted material for a profit, which is in no way, shape, or form legal. Will it result in jail time? Eh, possibly not, but a lawsuit is almost certain to come from this. The tax evasion and money laundering is what will most likely put him behind bars if he can't get it resolved with the FBI and the IRS. Overall, Omi and a Hellcat really does seem like a nice and genuine guy. He gave up selling poison to his community to create a service that allowed people who couldn't afford the massive fees cable companies charge to enjoy cable TV. While it still is technically illegal, it's practically a victimless crime where the only victim is the cable companies and maybe the IRS. 
Omi and a Hellcat continues to post quality content almost daily to his YouTube channel, and with the only difference being the lack of cars and other expensive purchases, but it's still the same old Omi. He's also keeping his fans updated on this whole case, so make sure to subscribe to Omi and a Hellcat on YouTube and Instagram to stay in the loop. Well, there you have it, the entire criminal history of Omi and a Hellcat. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Also, I want to apologize for not uploading in the last few months. Life got in the way, but I'm officially back, so make sure to hit that notification bell as well to be notified whenever we upload. That's all I have for today. I'm out.